For Richard G. Runyon, whose career in the sciences spanned four decades in a range of roles from biology instructor to a senior analyst for the Food and Drug Administration, his rewarding professional journey was not one he ever expected for himself. The son of a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Air Force, Mr. Runyon was born in Germany and traveled throughout Europe in his youth. As he grew up and proved to be a smart and driven student, he planned to pursue a future in the criminal justice field. After high school, he studied at Los Angeles Harbor College from 1967 to 1969, during which time he also worked at the Los Angeles Police Department and then at California State University from 1969 to 1971. In his senior year at Cal State, the only requirement left to earn his degree was a science course, which he had been dreading as math and science weren't his strong subjects. However, he chose biology among the optional courses and soon found that not only was he excelling in the class, but he was loving it as well. Even then, he felt that becoming a scientist was what he was truly meant to do, and he was inspired to enroll in affiliated courses. Upon earning a Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice in 1971, he worked for a year but decided to go back to college to follow his passion for the sciences. Between 1973 and 1979, Mr. Runyon studied for and obtained both a Bachelor of Arts and a Master of Science in Biology from Humboldt State University, earned teaching credentials in K-12 and Community College, and taught biology at the College of the Redwoods. For six years, Richard and his wife Phyllis served as mom and dad for 66 outstanding students between their junior and senior years in high school. The students from all over the country were chosen based on their academic performance and recommendations from their instructors. This six-week NSF program covered classes and fieldwork in oceanography, marine biology, and mathematics. Mr. Runyon found continued success in his field as a biology instructor at Allen Hancock College from 1978 to 1980 and an environmental health specialist for Santa Barbara County from 1979 to 1984. While an assistant professor of environmental studies and other subjects at Chapman University from 1979 to 1989, including two and a half years teaching at a maximum federal prison in Lompoc, he accepted the roles of facilities coordinator for Space Operations Command, headquartered at Vandenberg Air Force Base, now the Vandenberg Space Force Base from 1984 to 1985, and hazardous materials program manager with the Santa Barbara County Environmental Health Services from 1985 to 1989. He even supervised the treatment of the launch suppression water off a NASA space shuttle. Following these appointments, he became a senior scientist for Scientech Incorporated, a manufacturer of analytical instruments for laboratories and research where he provided risk assessment and risk management services from 1989 to 2000 before finding a gratifying 14-year career with the Food and Drug Administration, where he served as an investigator, supervisor, and a senior analyst before his retirement in 2014. During his time with the FDA, he displayed an expertise in all development regarding risk management and reliability, environmental health, and water systems. Upon reflection, he regards the most important project there to be one in conjunction with a major pet food scandal, in which melamine and melamine-related compounds were put in animal food and resulted in the death of a large number of cats and dogs. The FDA narrowed the culprits down to two manufacturers in China, so he and another senior investigator traveled there to further evaluate their process. This investigation found that the two manufacturers were no longer in business and that their owners and operators were jailed by the local police and plants were partially destroyed. Through their work, the FDA was able to obtain indictments for those in China and the United States who were aware of the contaminated pet food yet chose to ignore it. While the Chinese firms were out of their jurisdiction, the United States firm involved was convicted for their part in the scandal.
He was an integral figure in the development of a surveillance program to track the plague in Santa Barbara County, which he described as still existing mostly in mice and most commonly transmitted to other animals, such as a ground squirrel. Blood and fleas from the animals in question would be sent to a lab, and he and his colleagues were then able to map the areas where the plague was found. Mr. Runyon has traveled far and wide throughout his career, having worked in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia more than 20 times. He has also worked with the Taiwan EPA to train them for response to hazardous materials. Because of his expertise in crisis management, he was even asked to evaluate Japan's response to a countrywide nuclear emergency. In addition, his knowledge in areas of water, and specifically bottled water, was so respected that he was once asked to travel to Guam in the aftermath of a large typhoon that damaged the drinking water there. The people in the country were mistakenly using the contaminated water to make bottled water, so he spent time on the island working with those in the industry and the government, and even held classes for a week discussing the water source and helping them understand the requirements for making bottled water. Outside of his primary responsibilities, he has also given extensive lectures and led field trips for interested community members on poisonous and medicinal plants and their history. He has been recognized with several honors for his work in environmental health and water evaluations over the course of his career, and has served as a proud member of such groups as the Union of Concerned Scientists and American Association for the Advancement of Science. Attributing his life's career to perseverance and a never-give-up attitude, Mr. Runyon encouraged young professionals to always keep their eyes open for opportunity and to strike when one appears. He says if there is something you like, then go for it, because the opportunity may never come again. If it is something you like, then you're going to do well in it and put more effort into it. Happily married since 1971, Mr. Runyon has two children and two grandchildren and enjoys traveling around the world and experiencing food from different cultures.